It's a windy day and uh, just fly fishing. Started at the Robert Moses uh, fishing pier and moved over to the Cap Tree fishing piers. And... All right, it's real windy out and uh, today we're going to be doing some pier fly fishing over here. Um, I'm going to start over here at the Robert Moses piers. I'm going to check out this rip. I'm going to check out the inside and uh, see what's going on. There's a lot of snappers out, so there should be fluke. I don't know if they'll be on the feed. Real windy, windy day. But um, I'm gonna start at this pier and I'm gonna fish a few piers down. Fish this one, fish around the other one. And uh, maybe cut inside capture and try inside there if we don't get nothing in an hour or two. Um, got some good high water. That's what I wanted. Uh, just an extreme, extreme wind today. So, I'm just going to float this fly here in this rip for a bit. Um, I really like the way my line's playing in it, so I know I can get it down. Right now, you give it slack, that fly drops. And you see the line's just kind of meandering, and there is a current on the right. There's clear water on the left, and there's brackish water, like uh, colored water on the right. And uh, theory goes is the fish will sit in there, that stained water and ambush uh, stuff coming out on the corner of the clear. It's just perfect because there's current here, no current there, and I can just meander my fly around. So I'm going to do this for about 15, 20 minutes to see if uh, anything's going on, and I'll be looking in the water to see if I get any kind of response. There are a lot of snappers out there. Um, there's bait, sort of spearing, silver sides kind of deal in the water. So I'm going to fish here a bit. And usually when I'm fishing flies, I'll see or get some kind of a response on it. If I don't get any response in 20 minutes, I'm going to move. It's just how it is. You usually get a follow or a, some sort of a response to your fly. And if I don't see that, I'm going to move on, even though there's tons of bait here. And they're just kind of meandering. I, they, they're not scared. So it could be fluke on the bottom, but I know that there's no game fish. I can just tell by the way those bait fish are acting. The snappers might be harassing the spearing, but real windy out today. Now it's an extremely windy day out, so I am working with a, a sinking line. This is actually a sink tip line. Um, I do prefer the sink tip lines just because I can lift my line up out of the water and get my cast out there uh, quicker. But a full sink would be just as well. Um, in like the windy conditions, I most certainly do prefer the sinking lines. So, uh, I moved. I think that guy thought I was talking to him. Or maybe he thinks I have a fish. But, I think he wants to fish here. Oh, he's looking for crabs. But uh, I moved. Um, I'm just looking around. I didn't get the response I want. There was a lot of bait I probably could have waited. Fished a little inside and out. Didn't like, didn't like the way it felt. Came in here. Don't like the way this feels. I don't see no bait at all. Nice rip. I did see a little disturbance up in the, on the outside of that rip there where I'm working my fly. And that fly will do its own thing in that current. Lift the line, drop it, fly drops. Lift your rod tip, fly comes up. And out and out. It's really always working. Whatever you do, you can't go wrong if the fish are there. You'll just know right away when you get a response. So I'm going to work through here for a bit. And then I'm going to try another pier. And right now I'm over here at a Capture State Park, if you can't tell. Right now I'm just working the epoxy minnow, take a few casts about here, and then move on. Now, it's got to be gusting a solid uh, 25 plus 30. I mean, it's really, really ripping the wind. Um, but 
if I have the tide to my favor over here, you can see it's running out. And I'm just meandering my fly in the current. And I can get it out there. I don't have to do nothing. I'm fly fishing. Just give it a little flick next to the pier and work it through this here rip and hope for the best. I had a couple strikes so far, so. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here. Um, just talk about what I threw today. It's definitely windy out. Um, doesn't mean it stops you from fly fishing. It's actually playing well. It's just a, sorry. It's just an off day, you can feel it in the air, but it did have some action, not on the camera. But basically today I was throwing um, a bit of the epoxy minnows, and I have a couple here. These two I was using, and uh, I actually had a hit on both, um, I'm pretty sure they could have been Big snapper blues, or could have been weak fish. Um, I seen some flashing in the water, um, so that's what I've been working with here. But I also threw. I like to throw to get a little wee bit deeper. This is my half half fly that gets it down, and I'm using the weighted line today. It's a real windy day, and those windy days, I generally prefer to use a weighted line. This is a sink tip. I don't know what it is, maybe four or five, six inches per second, but it gets it done. Gets it done. But those were the two flies I've been throwing today. So I'm going to go, I'll be fishing a little bit more, and uh, I think it might be sticking to the epoxy minnows if something turns around. I did have two strikes on them, so I'm going to take a little break and we'll get back to it. Oh yeah, that's what they are. It's like big shad. Beautiful shad. Get him up. That's a big shed. Tough day. That makes all the day right there. Wow, he smacked around too. Or is that sort of some sort of parasite? That's a big shed. I'll tell you that. Get him on his way. This thing's blowing up in the water out there. Ooh, that's the thing about these here. This is a yarn fly. Get that again. Send him on his way. Driving around, just looking, taking a few casts, had a nice lunch, fish more, drive around, take a few casts. And the fishing's not hot. That's what you do. Just enjoy the day. And real quick, this is, I've been working with this here salmon egg yarn for some time now. And I finally think I have it down. Real cheap tie-in material. That's an epoxy mineral with it made with salmon egg yarn. You can see there's a video there with the yarn and uh, show the progression we got to this. So, all right, that made the day a lot of work, but we got one. <laughs> Feel lucky to get that one shot today, actually. Kind of round and fishing. Not bad. <laughs> 